For a few days now I've been working on this cheetah cup drawing and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the black spots on the cheetah. As always I put a blank sheet under my hand to prevent smudging and to prevent making the the paper uh, greasy with my hand we'll start here those black streaks that are so recognizable for a cheetah it's very important to have your pencil very sharp at all times especially when you're working a bit on a, on a smaller drawing but I always keep my pencil extremely sharp all the time and this paper is quite soft so you need to sharpen it more often when you have softer paper so there we go you just make strokes in the direction of where the hairs are going you see I already did a lot and it could be a bit blacker at first it's it's really important not to press too hard just do it lightly so that you're sure that you're doing it correct and at the right spot. You can always make it darker afterwards. Never go too dark at first because you don't want to make it too dark. You don't want to be using an eraser in a colored pencil drawing. I'm not a fan of erasers in general. So just keep making strokes in the correct direction. You have to make um, yeah, what is called a, a gradient. Uh, you want to do it darker in the middle and go lighter to the left and the right so that it really blends in with the surrounding hairs that are going to be lighter I also keep turning around my pencil so that I'm constantly drawing with um, quite a sharp point. It's also a way to keep your pencil sharp, although it doesn't last all that long. Especially when you're just starting out with drawing, it's it's important to not press too hard to just do it lightly when you're a bit more advanced advanced you know you know where the dark spots are uh, have to be and you can do it with a bit more confidence but then again to start lighter is always better To press lightly also makes it so that it's that it's that it looks fluffy. You want to make it look soft and fluffy. And when you press too hard, like this, for example, then 
it that obviously doesn't look fluffy like this then you just have you just really see the individual strokes and that's not good you just want to do it very very lightly I'm going to gradually make it darker And over here you have a whisker, a black whisker. Black whiskers are obviously easier than white whiskers because when you do white whiskers, you have to leave the paper white and you have to you have to draw around it. At least that's how I always do it. And with a black whisper whisker, then it's just easy. You just make a black line like that. First, also just. Make it really light. Later you can always make it darker. Here is also black whisker. And here is a black whisker. Here. Keep making my pencil sharp. This is really soft paper, soft, uh, like quite rough paper. Um, so I have to keep my pencil sharp constantly. very important to go in, into the right direction in which the hairs are going you, you don't go like this or so that you color it in like this that's not gonna look realistic obviously Here it's a bit rougher. So the strokes I make is almost like you, you, you swipe, like you do this. You start, uh, you, you start uh, pressing hard and, and you go to pressing lighter like that and then you do it the other way as well so that it's darker in the middle if you find it difficult you can always practice on the blank sheet first Another black whisker right there. And here's a black whis whisker. Pencil is not sharp enough again. For 
For my colored pencil, I use the brand, uh, well, this is a Prisma color because they sold out of my regular brand that I always use. And normally I always use Faber Castell Polychromos. Those are very good pencils, but Prisma colors are near uh, are just as good actually. So it's just what you prefer. Um, the um, Faber Castell, they're a bit thicker the pencil, so you have to buy a pencil sharpener that actually fits the pencil. And the Prisma colors are, are quite thinner. It's just what 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 you find, what you prefer, what fit, feels better in your hands or so. So okay, that was it. Uh, keep practicing. I would say uh, I will keep making uh, tutorials about all kinds of things. Let me know if there's something specific you would like to learn and you would like me to do a video about. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you with my next videos again. Bye.